This video covers three procedures in Maple that are used involving conditional statements. If else is like a single line if then else statement. Piecewise is like the mathematical operation of getting different results depending upon the condition. And heavy side, which is the difference between whether it's positive or negative. Let's get started. Here's our first procedure. It is the if else procedure. It is kind of like an if then else statement. If the condition is true, it will put out this output. If the condition is false, it will put out the second output. Let's look at an example. F of A comma B colon equals if else, open parentheses, if A is less than zero, we'll return A, otherwise we will return B. What does that look like? Well, let's look at F of minus one, three, and it returned minus one f of 1, 3, and it returns b. One of the nice things about the if-else statement is that you can make compound if-else statements. For example, in this situation, if a is less than 0, we're going to return a. Otherwise, we're going to do the following. If b is less than 0, we'll return b. Otherwise, we will return c. Let's do an example. f of minus 1, 1, 2. f of 1 minus 1, uh, let's do minus 2, 3, and f of 1, 2, 3. It does return a when a is minus 1, but a, if a is 1, then it returns b, and if it b is all, a and b are both positive, it did return c. Piecewise is a mathematical operation you're very familiar with, um, and it's very much like if else. Here, let's do an example. f of x colon equals. Where can I find piecewise? It's actually in this palette right here. So if you click on that, you could put in zero, tab x is less than or equal to a, or zero, tab, um, say, lin of x squared, tab x greater than zero. That's the expression. So we can then test it by putting in something like f of minus one, it returns zero, f of 1.1, and it returns that. You can put in many statements in a piecewise operation, and it looks more like this. f of x colon equals piecewise. If x is less than or equal to zero, then we'll put zero. If x is greater than zero, then we'll do the log of x squared. But wait, what if we only want it to go from 0 to 1? We can change the second, and I'll put it down here. x, 0 is less than x, which is less than, than equal to 1. And then we'll do this operation. Otherwise, we will do this calculation. And as you can see, Maple will return now three expressions such that if the le if it doesn't satisfy any of the conditions, it will do otherwise. So now we can try three different expressions. For example, f of minus one, f of 0 0.5, uh, and let's do one half, and f of a, assuming a is greater than one. And it returns the expression as it picked out the appropriate formula to return or expression to return. In fact, we can then use it to plot something. Plot f of x from x equals minus 1 to 2. Now, it's kind of a weird plot, but it makes the point. I often find that piecewise is great for making step functions, or in this case, this is a double step well. Here's the expression. Okay, so if we plot double step, which is a function of x, and we'll have the outside, inside as a 1.5 and the outside as a 2 from x equals my, uh, 0 to 4. Our double step expression looks like this. Our final procedure is the heavy side function. Here is the definition. As you can see, it has three definitions depending upon what the value of x is. Let's plot it out. Plot heavy side of x from x equals minus 1 
to 1. To me, that looks like a gigantic step function, and so it gives the idea. But again, it has no value essentially at 0, so it sort of skips that. If you were to ask it to do the derivative with respect to set x of the heavy side function, you would actually get the Dirac function in return. Using the heavy side is particularly good because what happens is as long as your function is less than zero, it makes sure that you, re you never use it. So for example, if I want to plot the heavy side of the sine of x from x equals zero to three times pi, it returns a ones when the sign is positive and zeros when the sign is negative. I'll be making more videos about procedures and functions that are useful in Maple. If you have questions, stick it in the comments. I will answer them. And if you want more information, go to google.prof learning maple.